Hey guys, it's 11 p.m. and I have decided to throw away a bunch of Miranda crap. It is time that I do this. I don't know why I wanna do it now at 11 p.m. at night, but it's just, I've gotten the motivation, so now it's happening. Because look, look at this closet. It is a disaster. This closet has been accumulating crap for years. Literally, this is where all the Miranda crap gets shoved. I'm sick of it, so I've decided to clean it out. This is gonna be the worst night of my life, but you know what? I'm not going on tour anytime soon, obviously because of COVID-19, and I don't make as many Miranda videos as I used to. Miranda, you know, is chilled out a little bit, and so I don't need all of this crap. It's time to throw stuff away. It's time to start the next phase of my life and of Miranda's life, and that new phase does not include all of this crap. Like literally, this dress is a dress I made for a Christmas sh Miranda show like four years ago. You can find one of the sparkly outfits that are, that are Well, yellow. I made this sparkly outfit. Both of them? So if you, if you want one like just like this, you have, we'd have to make it. Okay. You want to make one? Yeah, okay. tomorrow like so Tomorrow. <laughs> Like, why do I have that still? I don't know. I don't know why I have it, but I do, and I shouldn't. It's gotta go. That blue tutu over there, I don't even know why I have that or where it's from, but it's in my closet. So, let's get started. I don't even know where to begin. I don't know where to begin. This is horrible. I already regret this decision. Okay, this is a shoe, a heel. I don't know why it's in this closet. These are heels that I love and I'm going to keep, but they don't go here. They go in my actual closet, so. Here's a Miranda onesie. I love this. I'm keeping it. I'm already exhausted. Miranda sweater. Oh, this is a rip away Miranda sweater. In my Miranda show, I like do a quick change and I used to make these myself. I would make them or Corey would make them, um, but this is an old rip away sweater, but I'm gonna keep it. I feel like I am not a hoarder with anything except for Miranda. Like for some reason with Miranda stuff, I'm like, well, what if I needed something for a video? What if I needed something for a show? Like I keep everything. It's not healthy. Here are the rip away pants. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, this is gonna take freaking forever. I don't know. These are just really large post-it notes, like super large post-it notes. I don't, I'm already stressed. I don't have a plan. I'm literally just showing you the things on the floor and then putting them over here. Like that is not helpful. You know what I mean? This is not good. Maybe I take everything out and then put piles in the room so that I'm not like sitting in the closet. I don't know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh look, a blanket of waitress. It's me and Todrick, my friend Anthony drew that. These are Santa Claus pants. They're like literally not even Miranda pants. I, here's the thing, here's what I'm thinking crazy. I'm gonna keep them because, I don't know. I can't get rid of anything. A lot of the stuff that I have is gifts that people have made me. Like this is a quilt someone made me. What do you want me to do? Like I'm keeping everything. Oh man, where do I put this? I don't know what to do. These are Parkers. Oh my gosh. Regular Miranda pants. This is a skirt from Haters Back Off the TV show. I can't get rid of anything. <laughs> this is the worst day ever. I'm not making any progress. Miranda sparkly cat shirt. I mean, I'm keeping this stuff. Like, I don't, guys, stop judging me. Okay, this is a horse <laughs> that I used to use in the live show and I used it for so many years. I don't want to get rid of her. I love her. But maybe it can go in a different area, like a props. What do I do? I don't want to get rid of any of it. It's all sentimental. Like, okay, Marie Kondo, if you watch the show, um, cleaning up, tidying up with Marie Kondo, or whatever it's called, she said if it brings joy, you keep it. All this stuff brings me joy. It all sparks joy, Marie. I can't get rid of it. What do I do with this? I'm gonna put this in another pile. I just have stuff everywhere now. This, another awesome prop that I use in a lot of my live shows. I love this. It's like pants, like Miranda pants that looks like I'm sitting on the shoulders of another Miranda. So keeping her, I love her. Yeah. Okay, that didn't work. The cat hair in my mouth. Miranda cat sweater. I'm Miranda naked leotard. I wear this in a lot of videos, so she's being kept. This is my son's boat. So I'm keeping that because it's my son. But it doesn't go in my closet. For this in the Miranda quarantine series I did, but I don't need it in here right now, so I'm gonna take that out. Oh 
my god. Okay, so this sweater was some of the first merch I ever had. My friend designed this and I can't get rid of these things. This is a random towel. Don't know why this is in here, but I can get rid of this. Let's see, I got rid of something. Why is there a steamer in my, this is a steamer. This is a tiger head or like a lion head. I don't think I need this. I think I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna throw something away. These pants are iconic old school Miranda. Jojo see with headphones. Yeah, right, like I'm getting rid of these. Oh my gosh, fan art, fan letters, instruction paper. This is a pitch for a script I was writing with my brother before quarantine happened. So that can go in the trash. Obviously no one's gonna be making anything anytime soon. A tutu. I got rid of something. The Miranda Magic shirt. I used to wear this in the magic shows I used to do with my brother. Another family blanket. I love these blankies. <gasps> a little tiny Miranda shirt for Flynn I made. Look. A boa. See, like, I might need this. You never know when you need a freaking boa. I have a lot of random wigs. Sparkly jacket. I do have a lot of these jackets. I don't need them, so I'm gonna get rid of one. Alexander Hamilton. This is a doll someone made me, but it does not go in here. It goes on my Miranda shelves over there. This is a bag of tripods. Oh, well, here's my cough pants for Flynn. Oh my God, Ariel Versace's nail polish. I uh, love that. I never promoted it on my social medias, but I should have. How cute. Another selfie ring light in Flynn's books. I don't know why that's in here, but he'll be excited that I found it tomorrow. these pictures printed out from when I was in Waitress and I signed them. A lot of people were in the cast or the crew who were like, oh, my niece is a fan or whoever, and I would give them these. And then sometimes I would send them, like mail them out to fans. I didn't even know I had those. I love all of this. This must be my stuff from when I came back from New York. We put it all here. Now normally I have all of my Miranda pictures and letters from you guys organized, but it's been like, obviously like a year since we organized all of those. So they're all, we keep everything that's on bags and boxes and it needs to be organized. Organized. So clearly that's what I'm gonna be doing for a while. So I'm gonna finish going through all this stuff um, And I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll let you know if I find anything worth mentioning Well, this took an unexpected turn <laughs> So I'm sitting here organizing fan art and letters So I keep every single letter that you guys give me and obviously there's thousands and thousands and thousands But I keep them all and so I haven't read them in a long time and I was just reading through them and you guys are the best Best. This one made me laugh. <laughs> Colleen, I can't believe I'm actually meeting you. I met you once before in Boston. It was so much fun. I wrote a really good letter, but the carpet cleaner man is at my house and he's upstairs and so is my letter to you, so I can't go get it. My sister is being mean and it's making me sad, but I love you. Love, Ava. <laughs> but then there's letters like this. My friend and I are two grown ass adults who get to sit front row center to watch you do your thing. We bonded over your vlogs because you're talking about your pregnancy because she was pregnant and I was researching to become pregnant. Your honesty and genuineness is really what draws me to watch your channel, you are down to earth, and that's what makes me want to support you. First of all, I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you and all your accomplishments. You finally made it to Broadway this year, like we all knew you deserved. <laughs> And your mom now, seeing those huge dreams of yours come true, has made me the happiest because you deserve the world. You inspire me every day to keep doing what I love, so maybe someday, somehow, my dreams will come true too. I think I'm emotional <laughs> for many reasons, but one is a lot has happened over the years. I mean, I've been on the internet. This is a really horrible angle. Let me fix this. I've been on the internet, I think 12 years or something like that. And this is the reason I've always continued to do it. And I feel like, I'm like in the past few months, I've forgotten why I do it. Not forgotten, just like didn't think this existed <laughs> anymore. Oh my God, this was supposed to be like a silly, funny video of me like trying on weird costumes and looking at props. I did not think it would turn into this, but like, the internet can be really nasty and really cruel. Unfortunately, the hate is a lot louder than the kindness sometimes. And in the last year, I've really 
only heard the hate and the negativity and I haven't been paying enough attention to the kindness that a lot of you have shown me. I love my job. I love doing what I do. I love making videos for you guys. One of my favorite parts of my job though is touring and I obviously can't tour right now because of the pandemic. One of the reasons why I love touring so much is because it reminds me that there are really wonderful good people who watch my videos and who inspire me. I get to meet you guys in person and perform for you in person and hug you and say hi and receive your letters and look at you and put a face to the Twitter handle and put a face to this camera that I talk to every single day. And some days it feels like I'm talking to just a bunch of people who hate me. <laughs> and I think I didn't realize that. Like that that's how I've been feeling. And so to read these letters, <laughs> I'm like, oh, people like me, am I like, <laughs> It, it doesn't feel like that as much as it used to. I think I used to really focus on these, on these, on, on these people and on these letters and on you and your stories inspire me. And, and so to see this stuff, it makes me really like, I feel really grateful for anyone who still watches me and still supports me. I feel like I've never felt like I deserved it. I've always felt like surprised by it when I realize it. Like I remember going to London one of the first times and I was performing and at the end of my show, the audience stood up and I walked off stage and sobbed because I was like, why they stood up for me? Like, why did they stand up for me? And that feeling, I felt it again when I like was on Broadway. Being on Broadway was amazing, but the best part of my Broadway debut was walking outside after the show was done and seeing so many of you supporting me. And that's the feeling I'm feeling right now. My brain and my heart are like exploding with thoughts and feelings and I really need to go back to therapy, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to say thank you and um, I love you guys and I really do mean that. And I saw a quote today that made me so happy. I always say I love you and I mean it, I really mean that. I've been made fun of for that. Like how can you say you love people you don't know? But I saw a quote today, I, I'm gonna misquote it because I just read it once so I don't remember exactly what it said but it, it was essentially like, if people can hate people that they don't know then I can love people that I don't know. And I loved that because I feel like when I meet you in person, when I just talk to you on the internet or talk to you on here, like I feel so much much love for the people who support me and the people who don't. I feel love for everybody, but specifically for the people who support me and who have supported me and who are so kind to me. If the whole world can hate people they don't know and look at someone and go, I hate that person for the color of their skin or the way they look, the way they believe. If people can say that, then I can say I love you. Because I don't do that. I don't look at someone and go, I hate them. So if people are allowed to do that, then I'm allowed to say I love you, if even if I don't know you. And I'm allowed to feel like you're my friends, even if I've never met you. I don't care if people think that makes me crazy or make fun of me for it. A friend is someone who supports you and loves you and is there for you when you need them and makes you feel good when you feel like crap. That's what you guys do for me. You do all of those things for me. You are my friends. So anyway, so I love you guys and uh, thank you. And anyway, sorry for getting all mushy. I was not expecting that at all, but I'm gonna keep cleaning my closet now. Oh my god, I just found this box. If you're an old school Merfan bag, you know this freaking box. This is like what I did my whole live show was in this box. I used this box full of props and I had a stool on the stage with the Miranda clothes on it. The stool is right here. And I would only have a box of props and a stool with some clothes on it and that was it. And I'd come out as me and I'd sing a couple songs and then I'd turn into Miranda, just pick up the Miranda clothes off the stool and put them on. It's literally a princess box. Like it's like I ordered it on Amazon for like 10 bucks or something because it folded up. and I wanted something that I could fold and pack in a suitcase. It's like, this thing is such garbage, but it's been all over the world with me. Like, I cannot, and like all the stuff on it, it's like Corey and I have just added to it so much over the years, it's stupid like jewels and like pictures and tour shirts. I can't get rid of this. This is so hard. Okay, I've cleaned the floor of my closet, but I still have to go through all of this stuff. It's 1.30 in the morning, and all I've done is pick up this stuff on the floor and put it in here. 
thought I would get this video done like at night. I was like, well, that'll be a fun, easy video. I'll just clean up my closet and it'll be fun and silly and it'll just take one night. When in reality, it ended up being emotionally scarring and dramatic and it's probably gonna take me a week. So I'm gonna call it a night and I will pick this back up again tomorrow. So I'll see you soon. The next day. Okay guys, it's been almost 24 hours. I did not work on this at all today. I focused on other work and my family, and so we're back to square one, essentially. The floor is still clean. The floor in the closet is still clean, which is good. But now I need to go through all of this, all of these drawers, all of this, all the stuff up here, all, I have a lot to go through. So, let's get started. I don't wanna do it. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to do this. Ugh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, here we go. Oh my god, I literally just bought this doll for my son, but as a little boy with blonde hair, like literally I just got this for him. That's insane, I don't know why I have this or where it came from, but apparently I have a random doll in my closet that I don't need, so. What? Okay, another random doll a shark that you can blow up and it swims around your house. Why do I have these things? Sword through neck magic trick. I have a lot of these because I do this trick in my show, uh, but this is a show prop, so I'm gonna put it with some show props and we'll organize show props later and figure out how we're gonna deal with that. <gasps> Daddy saddle. Oh my gosh. Oh. Fan gave this to me actually. A fan made this. Daddy saddle for me. So iconic. The memories are magical. I just don't know where to put this stuff. Random piece of material. There's a lot of random pieces of material in my house. I like to use them for crafts and things, so it's hard for me to get rid of stuff like this, but I'm going to. But like, you never know when you're gonna need a sparkly piece of red material, you know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna throw this away. This shirt I actually got from Jerry Seinfeld. I will never get rid of this, it is very special to me. So are we going to get the interview after the coffee? No, this is the interview. You haven't even asked me any quenchings. Any what? Quenchings. Questions? Quenchings. because when I did Comedians and Cars getting coffee with him, one thing that we did that isn't really in the episode is we went to a Hot Topic and we went shopping in there for like an hour. And when we were there, he like picked this out and bought it for me. So it's something I will keep forever. This is the vest I wore on my summer camp bus tour. Um, it has all these like different patches on it that I made with Corey and I wore this in the show. I have such wonderful memories of all of my tours. I can't get rid of anything, guys. So hard. Y'all, this dress I would tour in. The very first photo I saw of myself with a baby bump. I was in this dress on stage and I was so nervous that people would be able to tell I was pregnant because I hadn't announced it yet and I had the tiniest little bump that showed in this dress. So this dress is so special to me. I love it so much. I will never get rid of it. Oh my god, all I'm doing is just telling you why I'm never gonna get rid of anything. But honestly, I have like four trash bags full of donations already. So I am getting rid of stuff, even it doesn't seem like it. This is a perfect example of something something that I have kept way too long. These are obviously Miranda pants I wore on tour, but look how much they got worn down on tour. I made these with like glue and sparkly material to the point where the vagina part of it is like complete, all the glitter's ripped off. And it was during my funeral tour where I would be lifted and like flown around the stage um, by Corey and Rachel, or Corey and my tour manager, Chris, and I, my legs would be spread open and there'd be this big, empty patch where my crotch was. <laughs> so I'm gonna say goodbye to these. I know, it's hard, right? Eric just walked in. But I gotta start saying goodbye to stuff. I have to. This is literally trash. Like, it's just falling apart trash. I have 800 other, spark look at sparkly pants, other sparkly pants. Like, I have other sparkly yeah. pants. I don't need them. They're falling apart. I'll never wear them again. I was just holding up to them because of the memories of my funeral tour. So, goodbye.
All right, I went through everything over there. I went through all these drawers. It took me a very long time, but it was boring, so I didn't film it. But now it's time to go through my bag of wigs. <laughs> so we have to figure out which ones we want to keep. I actually do use the wigs a lot. You know what I use more than the wigs is the hair on the wigs. I feel like I do a lot of things. I cut the hair off the wigs for crafts and weird things as Miranda. Way more than I actually wear the wigs. In my live show, I feel like I'm always buying wigs. But here's just a standard blonde little yeah. bob. Yes. A keeper? Or keeper. This one I've clearly cut and used for something. So this is now what this one looks like. So I think this one's dead. Good this one has a it. ponytail. I think this is fine. We need a generic brown wig, so she's fine. Oh, here's another one though, so. This is like more of your hair. But with bangs. Yeah. I like it. All right, Eric likes it. Oh, mullet, we have to keep the mullet. That's a must. I think I wore this as Donald Trump once or something. I think this was my Mary Kate and Ashley wig with my sister. I love her. This one's a disaster. It's like a Sweeney Todd one, so I think this one can go, and I'll keep the red right one. <laughs> See, for Miranda, I like to keep these types of wigs. The ones that just look so nasty are my favorites. Don't need the rainbow wigs. Well, maybe I'll keep one. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Gone. Ew, some of these are just, is this like a Bob Ross wig? I don't like this one, it's stressing me out. <gasps> Why? Why? <laughs> An Ariel wig? I feel like I need one. I think this is my salmon labia wig. Oh, but is it being cut up? My salmon labia wig. They are no more. It's been totally destroyed. Ooh, glitter rainbow? Hmm. Nah. Elsa. You wanna keep Elsa? You never know. And this is a butt mask. Those are all my wigs. We're going back in my Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon back. And going away. Now it's time for me to go through these drawers that used to be very nicely organized. They all have labels on them, but now they're all just a jumble mess. I'm so over it. It's one in the morning. I just want it to be over, but I have so much more to do. Uh. So it doesn't look like I made much progress, but I did. I got rid of two whole rows of these little think drawer thingies. So I've consolidated to just those amount of drawer thingies. So I actually did get a lot done. And this whole thing is empty except for the few things up there that I'm gonna do for a video. But I still need to go through all of this stuff, which is mostly haters back off stuff. And I have to go through all of this stuff. But now we're on night two of a video I thought I could get done in a couple of hours. I'm gonna go to bed, but I'll see you tomorrow. Z next day. Okay guys, we are on day four. Yesterday I cleaned a lot in the closet, but it was a lot of nitty gritty stuff that would not have been entertaining to you, so I did not film it. It was mostly going through all the fan letters and fan art from the past year. I have already organized everything from the first like 10 years of my, I almost said relationship, which essentially it is, but the first 10 years of my career. But the last year of tour and PO box stuff and on Broadway, all this stuff, I had to go through. As you guys saw, it was a weepy mess when I was doing it the first day and that's kind of how it is every time I do it so I didn't film yesterday but here we have a pile of the fan art we have a pile of fan letters another pile of fan letters over here we have the canvas art and that's haters back off scripts like the first drafts and outlines of every single episode of haters back off is in this box here's back off here's a script um, episode 208 so this is the first draft so it probably changed a hundred times after that. I also have in here, I mean, I have the outlines of episodes where it's just like bullet points. Yeah, episode 208, first draft. So this is the finale of the season two, the Netflix notes. Netflix was freaking amazing to work with. Like, holy smokes, I've, I'm so lucky I got to work with them. I adored working with every single person I worked with at Netflix was incredible. And the notes they gave us on our scripts and on the episodes were always like insightful and really smart and always made the episodes so much better. Like they were just amazing. And all the other writers on the show were always like, you guys, no other network is like this. They're amazing, like they're, they're just great. It was also emotional for me to go through the 
these scripts and stuff because I think of Haters Back Off as like one of the greatest things I've ever done and one of my proudest things I've ever done to be able to write and star in and produce. I helped with every single aspect of that show. I helped with direction, I helped with editing. I learned so much about the industry and about people and about just, I, I mean, it was just overall an incredible experience for me. And so I look back on it really fondly. I, I'm so grateful that I got to do it. I'm really sad that it's over. And so I have not watched Haters Back Off since season two came out. And so to go back and read scripts and like look at notes and just remember all those times, it was really like emotional. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna show you the final product. So we in total filled to the brim 10 garbage bags, huge black garbage bags, full to the brim of stuff that was in this closet. How was there 10 full garbage bags of stuff? And it was all props and like craft stuff. There's a lot of craft stuff. I got to see so much of the beautiful artwork that you guys have done. I was reminded of how talented you all are. I was like, I need to put some of this on the wall. So we made a new art wall which I love, it's just some of the canvas art. We're gonna probably put even more up here. Um, so now the Miranda wall looks like this. So we have the classic, all the pictures, and then this side is canvas art. This, and so I just, I think it looks so good. Look at that. I mean, hello, I think that looks good. And then, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you the closet. Oh. Obviously, these need to go in buckets. So how I store the fan letters is, you can see up here, there are buckets and buckets full of fan letters. And these buckets are full of fan letters. So I've ordered more buckets because we've read out. So the closet's not completely finished yet. We still have to put these in buckets and store them before it's finished. But I don't wanna wait a week until those boxes get here to finish this video. So it's already been four days. So I'm gonna show you. So ta -da, look how pretty it looks already. I'm so excited, let's go inside. So here is the Miranda closet. Floor is beautifully clean. Everything is organized. Look at, there's like so much room over here. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through everything. Up here we have all my old diaries and notebooks, my discontinued bobbleheads. In here is a bag of wigs. <laughs> Here is camera equipment that's easy to just grab and pull and get what I need. My Miranda sweatpants, Miranda towel, my Crocs, and my Miranda sweatshirts, and my Miranda t-shirts and Flynn's Miranda outfit. In the drawers we have, chunk, all of my old Miranda merch. I keep at least one of every Miranda merch I've ever had from over the years. Um, another option of Miranda pants if I ever don't wanna wear the red sweatpants, this is a onesie and there's my show brassiere thing that I wear in my live show. We have like all my cards and pictures and stuff of me and Eric right here. I need to get a little box for it. Here we have my lipsticks and also all of my pregnancy tests I took with Flynn. So these all have pee on them. This is a money box with no money in it. <laughs> and in this drawer we have electronics, my old laptops cords and wires. Obviously this could be much more organized, but you should have seen it before. And here's another uh, memory drawer. So in here we have like old tour stuff. We have like my yearbook from when I was a homeschooler. <laughs> you know, this is like a door stop thingy that Bailey made for me when she was really little. So this is just memories. Over here we have two boards. I put these boards up for display at the season two Haters Back Off premiere party and it basically shows like how much work went into each individual thing of Haters Back Off. We didn't take anything lightly. So for example, this taco costume I wore in season two, episode two, we showed the whole process of figuring out the, you know, we called it Taco To Go and then figuring out a different logo, which we liked the best. And then we drew this on the back of a script or Christopher did, my brother, and they gave us all these different options. And then we drew what we wanted to look like on me. This is on the back of a script. And then we wanted a model to show the costumer. So while we're writing scripts, these are scripts, this is my brother cutting out construction paper to make a taco costume to put on a Barbie to send to the customer who then made it. And then we showed what the restaurant looked like before, the plans and designs to make the restaurant, and then the day of shootings. That's one thing. Here is the Bible Adventure Museum from episode one of season two. And again, it just kind of shows all the artwork, something we drew on the back of the script, which then came to life. 
which was really cool. There's a lot that went into this. This is a photo of me putting on a Christmas play with my cousins, and my dad had made this set out of a refrigerator box. We would always send the production team tons of photos from our childhood to give them inspiration with what we wanted the house to look like, what we wanted the sets to look like, because a lot of Haters Back Off was based on my reality from my childhood. So this is one of the many pictures we sent them, and they surprised me, I didn't even know they were doing it, but they took this and they remade this backdrop. See, there's Angela and our director, Brian, I love him. They had remade it, which was a really fun surprise to walk on set and see that. So there was a lot of fun stuff like that on set of Years Back Off. I poured my heart and soul into that show, so I love keeping basically any memorabilia. So that is put on the wall. Okay, over here we have Miranda costumes. We have just regular generic Miranda shirts, and then we got her more fancy Miranda shirts, and then into costumes like the Virgin Mary costume and all that kind of stuff. Down here we have crafts. I'm always doing crafts as Miranda for the Miranda show, uh, for videos, uh, just in life in general. There's a lot of crafts. So these are all labeled, what's inside of them. There's some down here too. These stools I used to use in my live show and I never could find a place for them. So I finally figured out a way to kind of dangerously staple them on those boxes. Up here we have stuff I can use for videos in the future if I want to. This is my old show box. It is full of props. So if I ever need a prop for a video or for the live show, they're all in here. Here's more fan letters, fan art, fan crafts that you guys have given me. This area will be for my lighting and tripods and all that kind of stuff. I haven't really filled it yet. I need to figure out a way to hang everything correctly. Over here, we have a bag of bags. <laughs> you never know when you need a bag. And then we have a bunch of magic tricks from Miranda and sparkles, two things I use often. And here's more craft stuff. So we have all the paper and pens, crayons, stickers, everything is organized. Up here we have paperwork that is boring. Here we have a green screen and also backdrops from when I had the Netflix booth at VidCon. And of course, up above we have all of my fan letters and fan art stored. So there you go, I did it. I threw away so much stuff. I am so proud of myself. This video was meant to just be something silly and fun I could do for you. It ended up being like a really emotional experience for me and a really special experience for me. So I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who supported me. I've been doing Miranda for like 12 years. I can't believe it's still part of my life and I hope it continues to be part of my life for forever because I love the character. I love playing the character. I, I love how much joy it brings to my life to just kind of make light of every situation and be silly and be weird and find confidence in my weirdness when I'm playing her. Thank you for letting me be Miranda and live this life and thank you to everyone who's been kind and supportive of me for so many years. I really needed this video to remind me that there are people out there who don't hate me. <laughs> Um, because while Miranda says haters back off, that is not something that's very easy for me to do. I'm much more sensitive than this weird girl behind me. So this was a really, really wonderful thing for me to be able to just sit through and read your letters. You guys are awesome. Yeah, many, many exciting videos to come in the future. And thanks for, for all of your support. I hope you guys like this video. There have definitely been days this year where I was like, well, maybe Miranda is done. Maybe I gotta throw her away. Maybe I've gotta throw in the towel. Maybe this whole YouTube career is done for me. Doing this reminded me of why I started doing Miranda in the first place and why I continue to do Miranda for so many years and why I just like having a career on the internet and um, how much you guys mean to me. You guys are the reason I do any of this. Like, yes, I love it and it's fun for me, but it's also just, I'm so grateful for you guys and it's so wonderful to be able to connect with you in some way and how I connect with you is through my videos. So I'm not gonna stop anytime soon. So be on the lookout for some really fun, weird Miranda videos. And if you wanna follow my daily life, I vlog every single day on my vlog channel. So I'll see you guys over there and I will talk to you next time. Goodbye.